Tonight we're here in Knoxville and we're going to Dawn's favorite restaurant, the Melting Pot. Now they have one in Gatlinburg, same place, same menu, same everything. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. So tonight we're in the old city part of Knoxville and we're heading to the melting pot. Check out that old Coca-Cola mural. I never noticed that before. It's been a while since I've been at one of these tables, uh, and that is the that's the melting pot. So this is their menu here, and it's pretty simple. This is what we always get. We get the complete uh, fondue experience for two, which is $105 for two people. So just over $50 a person. You get to choose a fondue, and then you get to choose two salads. We usually get to create your own for $2. That way you can just pick and choose what you like. Um, but you can also add a lobster tail for $17. But nobody here ever does um, does that here. But that's an option for you. And at the end, you get to choose a chocolate fondue. Over here, you can order things individually. But we just find it a lot better uh, to order uh, the complete fondue for two. Now, they even have a big night out dinners for two. And I think the only difference is that you get like a... Um, a lobster tail or something. So we'll start off with drinks, guys. It's the same full bar, cooked product, sweet tea. What can I get? You get to choose three items from this list here. So for our cheese fondue, we're going to get the spinach artichoke dip. They have a drink menu here. They have all different types of drinks. In fact, Dawn was saying that Mai Tai looks really good. It's like in a little like face glass, and it's got like a little palm tree and a <laughs> and an umbrella. Isn't love when you share a pot? Yeah. Yes. Just the four of us are sharing a pot. We're, st we're sharing the same pot tonight, right? Yeah. And that pot is a steam. And of course, you you get a cooktop built right in the top of your, your table. Mm -hmm. And this here is your different colored, um, they're kind of like big forks. And they're all different colors. Like Mindy's like a, a, a mauve color maybe, or like, yeah, kind of purple. Dong, you got the pink. You got the pink. And, you got old and Chris got blue. Yeah, I got the old yeller. We meet again, paper straw. We meet again. We meet again. Well, you're not supposed to do that in a fancy place. We are back here at the melting pot. This is becoming a tradition for us. This is our second year in a row. After we've done the uh, tree lighting ceremony 
and the uh, Fantasy of Shrees. And uh, this is Dawn's favorite place. Of course, I know Chris and Mindy also love it too. Oh, yes. yes, I do too. It's, it's it's fun. So the one thing we've learned about the melting pot is that this is this is not a rush experience. Uh, it could take up to two hours, and it has taken up two hours yeah. by the time you sit down, but in, until the time you get up, you get to spend two hours with these two wonderful folks. <laughs> it's Chris and Mindy, guys. Yes. And look at uh, the pot. The pot is a steaming. I know it's ready for so, cheese. Yeah, I think we picked uh, what kind? Of, oh, we we picked the artichoke. Yes. Yes, and I've never had that. Have you guys ever had that? I think we've had it once before. Yeah, once, once. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and ah, uh, because Chris likes the sauce. Chris likes the sauce. Because the sauce is good. The sauce is good. We did that last time, remember? I think so. We did. I think you're <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, are we going to do that the whole time on this video, Probably. too? Probably. <laughs> Yay, look at the cutting board. Ooh, boy. It's all here. I don't know. I'm So what was that, the uh, garlic? Yep, so use a vegetable base, then garlic, and then these are going to be the artichoke. Oh, the artichoke, oh wow. Yeah, that's what we are going to do. Yeah, that's what we are going to do. And that's the good stuff, the cheese. The spinach, the pita. I guess if you go to the melting pot, you got to have cheese, right? I mean, that's what it's about. Because Chris likes the cheese. Chris likes the cheese. The cheese is good. Jesus, good. <laughs> You're gonna think we're nuts by the time she's done with us. <laughs> oh wow! So there's a lot more than what I thought. I thought it was just gonna be like dump it out and let it melt, but you—it's like it's ingredients. Yeah, it's yeah. In individual she's ingredients. Yeah, you are. You go, girl. Yes. <laughs> you know, a lot of folks say, "Why do you want to go to a place and pay to like cook your own food?" I go, "No, it's more than that." You it's know, really like experience. Yeah. yeah. They make our salsa that we make for the salsa cheese and all that good stuff. Now, this one goes for Tabasco. Do you guys like Tabasco? Uh, Chris probably doesn't like the Tabasco. You can do a little bit. You want just a little, just a little bit? Just a little. Three. I don't want they don't go too crazy with it. It's, more, it's more for color, less for taste. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Man. That's good. And usually once you get past the top layer, it's gone. Yeah, it kind of like cooks cooks up down or cooks out. Yeah, because yeah. we only leave it on the top. We don't actually fold it into the cheese uh, just to give it that different color on the top. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks looking good. Yes. This is awesome. This is fresh grated Parmesan because cheese on cheese makes sense. <laughs> right? This is what you dip into the cheese. So you got some like little little bits of bread there. It looks like you got some vegetables over here, some pep peppers, some peppers and carrots, and and it's a pretty big amount. Now we got our own tray here, and Chris and Mindy they got their own, yeah. and we get to share the pot though. Mm -hmm. Yet again, we're we're sharing a pot because folks that share a pot are are happy folks, right? right? And they're actually very close. I mean, if you're sharing a pot with someone. No. It's got to be close. You got to be close with them, right? That's true, yeah. Piece of broccoli, you know, and put it in your Oh, boy. No, 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 you pull that out. You, you got to twist it around. You got to... Oh, no. I thought we had to cook it. No, no, that's the other space. Ooh, it's looking good, Chris. Trying to take all the cheese. Look at how gooey that is. I know. Excited. Uh, artichoke. Love gooey cheese. Oh. Look at that. This cheese smells really good. You can smell like the, uh, is that garlic or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can smell the garlic. I want to try some of this bread here. Now the bread, the bread probably soaks up a lot of the cheese, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what do you think so far, Dawn? It smells good, it tastes good. Yeah. Oh, look at the cheese. Ooh, so I have this apple here. I'm going to dip that in the cheese here. Because that's what you do. You dip apples in cheese, right? Mm-hmm. That's how it works. 
And then there it is. Super hot. I'm impressed with the apple and mm -hmm. the cheese. It is good. You wouldn't think it was any good, but it is. It's good. So some of that cheese is starting to disappear a little I bit. Know. We need a table like this at home and you just yeah. sit around and eat all day long. <laughs> I like the carrot and cheese. I like the apple and the broccoli better than the carrot and carrot cheese. Yeah. We're slowly getting through our board here. I think that's the official um, name for it. It's called the board. Mm -hmm. Ash is coming along. And Chris says that this is the best bread. It is the best bread. Here. And the fondue, a little cheese pretzel. Oh, look at that. That's almost like heaven. So that's the house sale. It looks good. You got like two eggs, um, some tomato, some cheese, croutons. Of course, you have the ranch on the side. And you guys got pretty much the same thing over there. Looking good now. There's a special like seasoning they have here, yes. and he says gonna bring it right over. You can put it on the salad, right? Yes. Or I guess Absolutely. anything really, right? Oh yeah, I like it on the meat and the vegetables too. Oh wow, that sounds cool. And then this is my my Caesar. I wanted to be a little different tonight. Let's see what this is all about. This stuff actually will sell by the by the uh, by the bottle. So if you want to bring one home with you, just ask your server. Thank okay. you so much. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Y'all enjoy. Thank you. So that's the garlic and wine seasoning. And that's that special seasoning, huh? Yes. Yeah. And it, you can put that stuff on and, and everything, right? Yes. He says you can buy that on your way out and take it home with you. Or you could just put this in your jacket pocket <laughs> and take it home with you. Anyways. Yes. Actually, when our waitress comes, you could ask for another one. Like we didn't yeah. get in the first place. Oh, dude, you can take one home too. By the way, I'm just joking. I know there's going to be some trolls out there. You'll be like, oh, you see that? He, he took it. So if you're a garlic lover, I'm guessing this is the way to, to roll with it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoy the Caesar salad. It's um, it's kind of like it's normal tanginess, but it looks like it's got candied um, pecans on it. Or at least that's it, it has a, a sweet flavor. Ooh, it's a hot. What do you think so far? I think it's been good so far. Yeah, I think they've been right on top of it. Yeah. It seems to be going even faster than it did like the last time we were here. Which could be a good yeah. or it could be bad for some. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good speed, like, all together. So far, so good. The food is good. It is. It is. Green goddess here. It's a thicker one, really good in the mushrooms, like stuffed mushrooms. Ginger plum is the red one. It's going to be sweet, really good with shrimp and veggies. The curry is the yellow. It's um, smoky, not spicy. The dark one is teriyaki. And then the one on the very end that looks like ranch is gorgonzola, which tastes a lot like blue cheese. All right, these are going to be for cooked meat only. If you guys put raw meat on these, please just let me know. Don't hesitate to ask. We'll grab you a new plate. I don't want anybody getting sick. Search and rescue spoon. In case you guys lose anything, you can use that to get it at the bottom. These are your veggies. You guys get potatoes, broccoli, mushrooms. These are going to take five to six minutes to get soft. The longer they boil, the better they taste. You can usually just throw them in there and then get them out as you're cooking. Um, all steaks are going to be about one to two minutes cook time, depending on how well then you like it. Your chicken is about five to six minutes like veggies, and then pork is about four minutes. I got the steak lovers. Ooh, it looks good. So I couldn't tell you exactly what the steaks are. I think that's the, the filet over there. And um, you can see it's seasoned. <laughs> very, very good. That must be the teriyaki there, a steak. And then you got the... Um, pork and the um, chicken. Yeah, chicken, filet, and, and pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, they said that the pork takes a little bit longer, about four minutes. Of course, you... Ooh, and the, the bullion is a brewing. Yes. And these are our vegetables. We got potatoes, looks like some broccoli and that. Now, you pretty much got the same. The filet, the teriyaki, and then I got the chicken. Right. The, <laughs> and then Mindy, you got the same as Dawn. Same as Dawn, so we're good. 
And they will bring you more vegetables if you're asking. Oh, okay. So you can get more vegetables. Yes. That's good because I'm saying, I wouldn't mind having a potato each. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, we would need more potato. No, they'll bring you more. Now, these are where the different color sticks come into play because now everybody knows what's, you know what I mean? Yes. And that's, that's really cool. Now, I, I'm actually impressed by the amount of steak I got. I know. I, I mean, there's quite a bit here. Um, wow. Now, this is raw, obviously, if you don't know. This is raw, and you got to cook it. I don't know. But uh, And then these are the different sauces. Now, last time I thought we shared a tray of sauce, didn't we? Or has it always been different? I think we did share, and then you yeah. just put it on these little... Places in your plate. Yeah, but this time they brought out like a whole tray for us and then a whole yes. tray for you, I think. I think saucy. that's. I have to go back and look at the other video, but that was really cool. You can put as many as you want in there. You want to make sure you get it on your. That's one thing I learned from last time. You want to make sure you get it all the way on your. On your. Um, spigot here, I guess is what you would call it, because yeah. you'll lose your meat down in there. Also, this is a good way if you if you want like a certain tenderness, I mean, you know, that's on you, right? Yeah. And then I went I'm gonna go with all three of my meats at first, and then I'll do the um so I'm gonna try all three I'm gonna try all three of my meats now. And then the next round I'll do vegetables and then I'll come back to the to the beef. So that way I'll get a good a good cook on. Ah, that's a full pot. That is a full pot. So, Chris, uh, you you actually ask for more teriyaki, don't yes. you? Yes, every time. Because I lack of the sauce. The sauce is good. The sauce is good. Probably done enough. Need or not? So now it's time to come out of the tub, mm -hmm. and everybody's been soaking in there for a little yes. bit. Oh uh, yeah. And Dawn, you're pink, right? Yeah. Pink. You and Will are tied up together. I know. Oh boy. So yeah, this is this is yeah, done. This looks done. So Chris says, how about we dump the veggies into the pot? Yes. That's very smart, Chris. You want yep. mushrooms in there? Let's let's do it. Let's put it all in there. Do it all. all right. You like mushrooms, don't you? Not me. Ooh, and there goes the potatoes. He said not me. Oh, don't get splashed. Oh, sorry. Oh no, you're good. I'm good. I'm just trying to let you see. Ooh, boy, it's <laughs> in there. Yeah, there goes the mushrooms. They float on top. And then you can always ask for more. So we might yes. ask for another round at yes, least. We probably should. Yeah, we'll probably get another round of that when she comes back through. Oh, yes. So there's my three pieces of of steak there, and I've got all my sauces lined up. and. I guess I'm going to go in for the um, cucumber stuff. <laughs> Is that the goddess? I think so. Mm. Good. Oh, uh, yeah, looking good. It is looking good, and I'm excited. Oh, uh, we got another round of, of steak in there, and... Yeah, it's kind of like a green goddess. So it's kind of like a cream cheese or tasting there. That's really good. I like that. Um, the teriyaki is real good. Of course, that's that one of your favorites. The best. Yeah, and this teriyaki um, steak there is is really good too. Yeah. Oh man. And we are all finished, and that broth looks so good. And it soaked up the juices into like the um, the broccoli, and you can just taste it. Oh, it was amazing! Oh yeah. I mean, I almost want to drink, or not maybe drink it, but you know what I mean. It can make a good soup. You know what I mean? Ooh, yes. Hot chocolate. Yeah. It's burning hot chocolate. These are the candy pecans. They're gonna go on top or on the side, whatever you guys okay. choose. I'll leave them here, and I'll let you guys enjoy. I'll be back with some soup. Okay? All right. Oh, 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 look at that. So the chocolate is on fire. They're going to add some um, some candied uh, pecans, I think, or whatever. Yes. Over there. Yes. And these are, this is what we're going to dip all this into. Uh -huh. And that's, 
Wow, that is cool. That so this is, is the cool. turtle, right? Yes. Now, are we supposed to dump that in, or she? Are we? Or she's supposed to do that? She said we can if we want to, or you can have it on the side. But it's I think up we to you. Dump it. Dump it. I think we should dump it. Do it. Yeah, do we'll it. dump, dump it, dump it. Chris is doing the honors of the pecans. Oh, look at that! That they're they're sinking. <laughs> Oh boy, yes. Yeah. Right. It looks like we have like little, what is that, like a chocolate chip it's banana like a nut? Chocolate chip cookie. It's a chocolate chip cookie. And, and brownie. There, and there's there's two different types of marshmallows there. Yes. Of course, the Rice Krispie Treats, which is a favorite of Chris. Yes. And you got the um, strawberries and bananas, and, and we got two trays of this. Of course, that's the fun part right there is uh, <laughs> yeah. dipping it oh, wow. we, in the chocolate. Like, I like it, the chocolate. The chocolate is good. The chocolate is good. Yeah, yeah you like the chocolate. <laughs> Chris likes the chocolate. So I noticed something here. Everybody's plate is clear, right? I mean, nobody has got anything on it. And mine, mine is clear, but Dawn, she's already reserved <laughs> something. <laughs> you did. You, I didn't know. I get my shoes. No, I just think you're trying to get the things that you like before everybody else gets them. But the chocolate, I'm not yet, so you're not I being. Do <laughs> 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 you see that? She, she, that. she, she's like getting all the good stuff, right? I noticed. Like, no, you get your own. I get my own. Lindy gets her own. Chris gets his own. You no, gotta share no, the bananas. And everything strawberries is yours, and then we get whatever's left over. Yeah. I hope I get a um, pecan. You did. You did. So that's a brownie covered in chocolate. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It is, it is. Mm. Oh, look at that. I like yes. to set the Rice Krispie Treats to, against the bottom to let it get melty a little bit where the heat is. So you kind of like, oh, so it kind of like mushes up a little yeah. there, right? You've done this, you've done this. You, you kind of have a science like to a it. I do. The strawberries is like, it's the way to go, you know? Like, that's what a lot of people want to do is the strawberry. In the chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, so look at this. Now I, I think Chris is ideal about letting this sit in here for a little bit. Yeah. Like let let this. I did that with the marshmallow too. Yeah, I mean that way it kind of gets real, real. Oh wow. So if there's any chocolate left over, do you just drink it? Yeah. There's <laughs> usually not much left though. <laughs> they they got this down to a science, don't they? Yeah. Chris, if there's any chocolate left over, are you going to drink it for the camera? I'm not. <laughs> I would. Jeez. We had two Diet Cokes, two experiences for $109 each, and our total came out to $246.92. So this area is very popular on the weekends. This is where all the bars and uh, a lot of folks from UT come out here and party it down and... So that was our yearly outing to the melting pot. Uh, it's always a great experience. Um, what did you think, Dawn? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the atmosphere, the company we had with Chris and Mindy. And I enjoyed the food with the meats and cheese and the dipping sauces and the chicken broth to dunk your meat in and then cook it. <laughs> and the dessert. Yeah, it's about like the experience. I, I know our waitress said that in the video. But folks, that's going to do it for here in the Great Smoky Mountains. If you guys like this vlog, give, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.